Travel Across America with me. Welcome to Historic Buckner Orchard. Visitors welcome. Buckner Homestead is a registered National Historic District. This property represents one of the earliest homesteads in the Stahican Valley and contributes significantly to our understanding of settlement and agricultural uses in this more remote region of Washington State. There is a terrific self-guided walking tour guide to the Buckner Homestead Historic District, along with this board erected by the National Park Service. We were able to interact with the park ranger there and she was very helpful. Scenes from Buckner Orchard. Look at this crazy fence. It was erected I'm guessing around 10 or 12 years ago. When we first visited the orchard there was not a fence. Wait till you see who we saw in the orchard one evening. The fence is not to keep out people but animals. These apple trees are very old and they look very gnarly during the winter time and while they are beginning to bloom here in spring. The park ranger I mentioned, she's got quite a sense of humor and places different items throughout the orchard and the property for your amusement, and I think hers also. Picking for apples begins generally in October, but please keep the gate closed. You see that black bear? They don't want him in there. Have you subscribed yet? If not, why not? And if you have, thank you. Many years ago, our first time in Stahican, before the fence was put up, Look who we saw in the orchard. Yes, a bear. They loved to climb up in the trees, shake them like crazy so that the apples would fall. They were tearing up the trees. That's why the fence was erected. We made cider one year, but you'll have to wait till later in the video to see how that process is done. You won't want to miss it. Remember I said that the park ranger likes to put silly things in and around the orchard? A green flamingo? I like that. What about these things? And what's with the fork? Maybe I left it there a couple of years ago and she found a good use for it. This orchard is like peeling an onion. This probably is the fifth or sixth time we've been here and we've never walked down this area. The first time we were here, a bear was in one of these apple trees, shaking it like crazy, getting the apples out of it. But they've put up this fencing to keep them out because they were destroying this historic orchard. This is an old sprayer. The ranger told us that it wasn't really used. It makes a nice addition to the features of Buckner Orchard to enjoy. There are lots of rustic buildings and tons of equipment out in the yard and this gorgeous meadow and we could hear the river in the background so we crossed this meadow to go see the river. Do not forget to subscribe. We spotted a lone deer laying down in the trees next to the meadow. This is such a picturesque place. Lots of old farm equipment. Leave a comment below. Tell me how you're enjoying this video. This is a, uh, a brooder. Does anyone know what a brooder is? Leave a comment below. As I mentioned, there is tons of old equipment that was used on the homestead all throughout the property. Don't climb on it, you might get hurt, and plus, that would break it down even more. Leave it alone so we can all enjoy it on each trip to Buckner Orchard. Oh my, we found this sign? Beware, mosquito eating hornets. Please do not disturb. Um, which is worse, a hornet or a mosquito? Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna leave both of them alone. How about that wiring? Let's go in. Does this bring back memories of maybe your grandmother's house? Or great-grandmother's house? Historic Buzzard Cabin. What do you think of the stove? How does it compare to yours? And what about this vacuum cleaner? It's a Hoover. How many of you own a Hoover vacuum cleaner now? And how about this bed? Um, looks like it's missing a few things. Sign the guest register. Olives Chocolate Applesauce Cake. Olive Buckner, 1930s. 
Thanks, Olive, for the great recipe. We'll have to try this one out. I took a picture of it for you, so you'll have it. And what do you think about this truck? The last time I got a license deck was in 1963. You might see a lot of that kind of thing around Stahican. We found where they had stashed the cider making equipment. Let's pick some apples and make cider now. You pick. Please close the gate. They supply apple picker pullers. Apple puller pickers. I'm not sure what these things are called, but we've used them quite often at Pick Your Own facilities across Oregon and Utah and also here in Washington. It's really a lot of fun. You can get as much as you can personally consume. Red Rome, also known as Rome Beauty. Every fifth row, queen of the baking apples in the 1900s. Also good for eating and cider. Origin, 1817, Rome Township, Ohio. And we have friends that live in Rome Township, Ohio. That's really cool. When it's cider making time, they have tables and knives and bowls and everything you need and fresh water to wash the apples. That's really great, isn't it? Now to make the cider. I'm not strong enough to do this. This is a pretty old contraption, but it works. Have you ever made cider? Leave a comment below if you've ever picked fruit from an orchard. Once you get the cider, they had strainers available for you to pour it into bowls. The quart containers were also provided. This was just such a great experience. We were staying at the yurt in Stahican, and that evening we heated up some of the cider. It was good, wasn't it? Gotta go back to the orchard and get some apples to keep just to eat. Buckner Orchard, awesome in all seasons. But wait, there's more. We have to go down Buckner Lane, across from the school. You'll have to go back and watch my previous videos on Lake Chelan and Stahican to learn about the historic Stahican School. Each time we visit Stahican, we try to do several things new, and this is one of them, Buckner Lane. I'm presuming Mr. Buckner created this trough to divert water to irrigate his orchard. Hikers only. At one point, it turned into a ditch that was starting to get stagnant because of the leaves and debris. Look at these gorgeous trees. Please be sure to subscribe. I didn't put that pine cone there. It was just perched there perfectly. Maybe another hiker placed it there. The sign says, no hunting in orchard. I guess this means we're returning to the orchard. Yes, we're back to Buckner Orchard. Stahican, awesome in all seasons. Hiking boots on the ground unclassic road trip. I'll be finishing up our trip to Stahican with our boat ride back to Chelan. I hope that you have enjoyed the series on Stahican. We certainly enjoy going